the exercise um, immediately after is using the same principles of this one, but is more tactical. Okay. Okay, care. In this area right here, I want. You can go there. Inside this area, we have three spaces to play. You're playing inside this area. Play inside that area. Okay, you're the offensive player. You'll play in that area. And we'll have another three players here. One, two, and three. We'll have a green offensive player, and you'll play there. A defensive green player, you're the defensive player, you'll play there. And three green players here. We won't play with offside. The offensive players, both green and yellow, can create space in depth. In the center, we'll have three against three. The goal is to pass the ball to the offensive player on your team. When the ball is in possession of your offensive player, one player of this area can go there. You have to create space and try to get the ball. Okay? The first ball is always passed by the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper passes to the defender, and then you start playing. The first ball is passed by the goalkeeper to Xavi. The team with possession must remember they have a goalkeeper there who always has to pass the ball to a defender and start playing. Okay, Xavi. Exactly. Exactly. Here and play. Look at the striker there. Okay. Okay. Go back to the position. Go back to the position. Hold it. Hold it. Pay attention to the field's width. You can spread out. You can spread in order to create space. Pace, pass it to the midfielder. You must have confidence to start playing. Get into play. Pass to the goalkeeper and start again. That's it, play. That's it, Xavi. Play. 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 That's right. Step on it. Step on it. You can pass it to the midfielder. Play. Play it now. Play it now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. That's right. Yes, that's it. Play. That's it. Flash. Yes. That's it. In this moment, the defender is a real defender. The, the striker is a striker, so we are giving them uh, a more specific role and more specific task to do. Again, it's three against three in the, in the central area. It's one against one in the defensive and the attacking uh, area. We allow a second man to run from the midfield into the attack. This is something I believe uh, is also very important. The midfield players to, to have the timing and the vision uh, to decide when to go into uh, a finishing uh, situation and again makes them uh, sink and adapt quickly to the reality of the game. Go! Go! Jogado. That's it, that's it. Play it here. Play it here. Play it over here. Hold the ball. Good, good. Very well. Very well. The striker wants the ball. Hold it, hold it. Only one moving, only one. That's it. Okay, play. Well played, well played. Pass it to the striker. Go, 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 go help him. Be careful with the offside. Okay, okay, stop. Take a break. I have to be 
uh, enjoying what, what they are doing. So I think the tactical concept must be something progressive, must be something that the exercise bring, bring to them, and by themselves they will, they will uh, understand what they, have, uh, what they have to do. Above this becomes uh, the tactical culture. Because one thing is, is the player to be full of football concepts, which we can use many words, but basically are the football uh, principles of their, uh, of their game, concepts of, of how to play the game. After that becomes how to play tactically. And for example, this exercise that uh, we are going to do next is, is an exercise where uh, one team has to defend two goals. And the two goals are wide and very distant one from the other one. So when there's only one goal to defend and you defend the center of the pitch, naturally you understand that you have to concentrate uh, people in front, the wingers they have to, to close the space inside, the fullbacks they have to close the space inside. But when you bring two goals to the game, you, they will learn by themselves.